Hey guys, we are back with another video. Today we are doing a setup. The theme is Monsters Inc. as you can tell. And if you didn't watch the video from last Sunday, this is the same setup I did in that same day when I told you guys I had to do two setups back to back and they both were an hour apart. So let's get started here. Um, I really, really love these doors. You guys don't even see how clean these doors were. Um, in person, like I, I want another chance. Is this one setup I would like to redo? This is one of those setup. Um, even though I'm not really into kid parties because the colors are just always so bright. I don't know. I just like you know muted colors in baby showers. Um, but this was fun. So I'm starting off doing this setup for the Monsters Inc. Now, first I didn't know what I was going to do when I was showed the doors from the event planner. Um, because there was just so many colors going on. But as I started to think on it, like, you know, a couple weeks before the event, I'm like, maybe I can do the, the blue monster all by himself and then do, um, the other two colors, which were the yellow and the green on this off on the other doors. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I ran out of balloons. <laughs> how? I don't know how you guys, I ran out of balloons not even ran out because I knew I only had a limited amount, but I wasn't trying to go too big with this look. And somehow I still end up doing way more than I thought. Um, I think I just underestimate myself when it comes to how much balloons I need, which I don't know how I'm still doing that. And the funny thing is I had another color. So this is Caribbean blue that I'm using. And I had a sea gloss by Collison in the house that I could have mixed in. And it really would have gave that two-tone look that the the big monster had. Um, and somehow, I don't know, it was just a lot going on that week. And I just didn't pull it out. I had it at the top of my bin, but I just never tested out. But I could have did maybe a scatter look or even a block with both of those colors mixed in together. If you're not uh, subscribed to my subscribers only on Instagram, we did talk about a recap of this setup um, and how I could have implemented another color, of course. So here I'm like trying to figure out what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, the shape just looks a mess. <laughs> terrible right now it looks terrible you guys I, and i have no problem saying it and then i had printed out these vinyl spots which they were end up too big and i had to like cut them up and they were supposed to represent the spots that's on the big monster and i was going to put them around but they were so big and like you know how when things don't lay down all the way it kind of have like this the the space or <clears throat> the ridges. Excuse me, y'all. Is my voice a little gangsta? It's early in the morning, y'all. Y'all probably hear my daughter snoring. <laughs> if y'all didn't get this video now, y'all just wouldn't have gotten the video. So, excuse me. It just, you know, suck it up. <laughs> Say no. But anyway, yeah. So, I ended up um, printing out those vinyls. And it was a hot mess. And I was trying to cut them up to fit. But next time I know if it's going on like an 8-inch balloon, I need to... I need to size it down because I think those were really nice. So I ended up putting some on, but not a lot to really make it. I mean, the clients still love it though. They be in love, child. In love. They still love it. So I ended up moving that down, as you see. And it kind of made the shape a little better. It just looked like a big glob now. I don't know. Better than what it was. I feel like I still could have used maybe like a few clusters. Um, and I also was planning on doing something else with this backdrop, but because the space was so intimate, I couldn't really, and we had that other backdrop with the eyes behind it. I didn't know that was going to be there. I just thought we were going to be using the doors, um, cause I was going to kind of bring it from out from behind the door, but I couldn't really do that kind of design. I had to put everything in the front. So that kind of hindered what I was trying to do. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how it looks, which is not too bad, but I mean, what you guys think? Write in the comments. What do it look like? <laughs> so this is the part. And the funny thing is what I was talking about and how it wasn't laying all the way down. You can't really see that on camera or the picture. So I could have just went and put everything on there but i feel like in person you can see how it was like not laying down all the way and that was bothering me so i'm trying to cut um little pieces off and 
I'm terrible at cutting, you guys. I don't know how I pass kindergarten. I'm not really good at it. <laughs> Anything cutting a straight line or cutting like a unique shape, I don't know. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But I tried. And now I'm trying to put something on there um, to represent. So we're going to come back to that, though. So we're going to leave that there for now because, remember, I had the hour set up. And I, get, I need to get moving. So another thing, I forgot to bring more of the lime green balloons that I use. And all these colors were custom. They always double stuff. I will leave that information in the description box as well as where I purchased my balloons is all this information is always listed in the description box. I feel like I get this question a lot. Um and please just check the description box. That's where all the information be. Especially the colors and the vendors. Now sometimes I don't leave links all the time because I'm tired. But the colors and the vendors and where I purchase my balloons from will always be in the description box. So, um, I'm working on this setup now for the green. The green, I only had 11 5-inch balloons, which was fine. I left the rest of the lime green that I had at home. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me how. I could have used more, but the shape with this was okay. And I apologize for the not being able to see everything. But the space, again, was really intimate. So, it wasn't a lot of room to move around but i'm basically just making something in the little corner i use all everything that i had inflated already and uh yeah i'm just filling in and trying to make something happen here and, and you guys see the doors they are so nice they are like you guys had to see the detail of them in person like even the knobs on the door was like freshly brand new clean like they were really this is one setup I would love to do over. And honestly, the colors that I originally planned to do, that I wanted to do before the event planner told me, like, no, the client really want, like, yellow and green. And I wasn't going with no regular green. I was like, well, they're going to get this lime green because i rather that than, like, a regular standard green. Um, I was trying to do the Caribbean with the lime and then a the mint green. I thought that was going to be so pretty. Just make it a little bit more modern. Um, but then she told me what the client wanted. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so I'm finishing up the green part and I am, I added my five inches on. Sorry, you guys. I just be talking and I, <laughs> I lose track of what I'm doing. But, uh, most of the clusters that I used were six and eight, um, six balloons and eight balloons. And then I, you know, you guys, I still use my quads and pop them in here and there. So with the yellow, I was trying to do something. If you see, I was trying to do a lot of larger balloons, like my 16-inch balloons in this setup. And I don't know, I don't, I didn't have, number one, I should have... I shouldn't have done it because I didn't have enough time to play with this new idea that I had, which is trying to add more larger balloons in one smaller section. I didn't have enough time to play with that, so I don't think I should have did it for this setup. However, this is still on my to-do list as far as style and design of having more um, larger balloons in one section. So I want to play with that and see how I can make a unique design out of that so that's something that's still on my to-do list i don't recommend doing it or trying anything too much new when you have a short amount of setup time like an hour was not enough time for that so uh, i do want to try it again and uh, maybe if it was maybe like three hours set up four hours then i'll probably you know test the waters with that one more time but right now i am just finishing up um, using everything that I inflated and then just trying to put something together here. I don't know. Just <laughs> trying to do something. Um, but yes, yeah, so I end up deciding to break it up in three different pieces. Um, I feel like that was the best, I, the best thing for this setup because each color was just so bright. I don't know. Maybe I'm so used to baby showers now that like when I get first birthdays and things, Especially if they don't want to go like the muted color, which is totally fine because it is a first birthday. So I know kids still want bright and stuff. The parents be wanting muted, but the kids be wanting bright. I'm sure the kids want bright. But uh, <laughs> I'm so used to having, you know, those colors now that when these colors, I'm like, whoa, what, like, what am I going to do with this? So 
I felt like breaking it up was best just so they on each color get its own spot, like its own spotlight. So that's what I was doing. She's putting out the what are those? The pedestals for the treats and everything. And she has those little gloves around the cake, which I thought was so cute. And I'm just finishing up over there in the corner. I'm about to put on my 5-inch balloons. And if you guys... So, I use my Legenda to inflate my 5-inch balloons. But before I used the Legenda, I was just using a hand pump. And, um, I know some people ask questions. Um, when I do my 5 inches on a hand pump, I literally do one pump of balloon. I make sure the balloon, the neck is all the way down on the, um, the nozzle. And push it all the way down. So that way, when you do one pump of air, it goes to the very, very top of the balloon and not like the neck. But this is the final setup, you guys. As you see, I added a few more spots. I wish I could have added some more. And this is the terrible yellow, the better green, and the thick blue. <laughs> I just came up there on the spot. Oh, all right. These was the columns I made. I actually made another one, but I ended up cutting off the video. Maybe I did it then. But this is how everything turned out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.